it's your boy Tommy coming at you with a brand new Nintendo Switch video and today we are going to be having a look at the official release date of the new Nintendo Switch Pro that has been talked about over the last few months. It is finally here as you guys can see on the screen this is the verified Nintendo of America account. We will be receiving this new Nintendo Switch on October 8th of this year super exciting stuff so we're gonna go through the tweets just check it out a little bit and then after that we're going to react to the nintendo switch oled model announcement trailer <sighs> dog let's go man let's go dog all right so first things first if we have a look here we're gonna get a seven inch oled screen with a slimmer bezel i mean it looks nicer the whole thing looks smooth it looks nice for a lot of you guys that are playing on handheld i heard that this upgrade is going to be a handheld majority you know, people that play handheld are gonna love this new updated switch getting that nicer screen you got a wide adjustable stand the current stand on the nintendo switch isn't adjustable it's just you flick it out once and that's it but you'll be able to play at different angles whether you're in the car on the bed at your desk so having that new adjustable stand i can see how that's a really really good feature for them to add we've got a new dock a new dock that actually looks really sick it features two USB ports, an HDMI port for connecting to a TV, and a new wired LAN port allowing you another way to connect online when playing in TV mode. So that's pretty dope because I play docked and since I need docked to record my videos, I'll be able to connect my ethernet straight to the dock. Works out pretty well. Uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which is pretty lit because before I think the old Nintendo Switch had 32. So getting double the amount of space, we'll be able to download more games to the Switch especially for you guys that play those cross-platform games. Some people couldn't even download, I think, Apex Legends without having to have that micro SD card. So that 64 gigabyte is pretty nice. I'll still have my SD card, so I'll probably have, you know, close to 200 gigabytes of space. Um, enhanced audio, okay. Clear sound on playing handheld or tabletop, once again. Y'all didn't hear that voice crack? Playing that tabletop, so once again, a little, little upgrade for my boys playing on handheld. And it says finally the Joy Cons from the old Switch are gonna be more are gonna be compatible. Um, Six, 11, 25, 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was reading it. I was like, wait, what am I looking at? The Joy Cons are gonna be compatible, and the old Nintendo Switch games as well for the new Nintendo Switch. So pretty dope stuff all around. Um, but no word on a hardware performance upgrade. So. Based on everything we know so far, we're gonna watch the video to make sure we are correct. I don't think there's gonna be any upgrades in that regard. So if you have a Nintendo Switch currently already, you'll be fine just keeping that. I feel like this one appeals more to people that are buying a Nintendo Switch for the first time. You already know though, I'm gonna be getting this Nintendo Switch. An upgrade is an upgrade. I love my technology. And I've had my current Switch, I don't know, for over maybe like three years now. So it's about time that I get an upgraded version of the Switch. But for my Fortnite guys that have been waiting for a brand new Nintendo Switch so they can probably compete at 60 FPS and compete with console players and try to make it into the pro scene. It's chalked. I, I gotta keep it above with you, bro. It's chalked. You're gonna have to stick to playing Fortnite casually, or if you wanna go competitive, you are going to have to play on a new platform because competing in Fortnite on the current, you know, at, on the current state of the Switch at that 25, 20 FPS, it's just not gonna cut it. But for people that play those Switch based games, not those third party games, I think that having this Switch and playing it in handheld is a pretty cool addition. So without further ado, though, Let's check out the brand new announcement trailer.
pretty, that's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Those adjustments are pretty nice. I love the black and white color scheme actually. I never thought about how that would work on Nintendo. Hey, hey Splatoon 3, baby! 2022! That's my game, Mario Party. I don't know if that's actually Mario Party or not, but. Super Smash. It's gotta be top three game on Nintendo Switch. I'd vote it number one, to be honest, but. Alright, hey! So pretty much everything we learned about in hey, that's pretty that's a, that's a cool picture. <laughs> Nintendo Switch, Switch Lite, Switch OLED model. So everything we learned or everything we read in the tweet is the exact same information that we have here in the video. So especially with this picture, you can just see it's just a different Nintendo Switch. So I mean you have the Switch Lite. Regular one, OLED, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade, get this OLED, it looks really nice, it's like getting a new phone, so I'm down for the cause, except anyone that was thinking, you know, you know, especially for those cross-platform gamers, it's just, it's not happening, we're not getting, we're not getting that PS5 level performance, 60 FPS, or even 120, um, for those cross-platform games, so it's gonna remain at 30 FPS, if you wanna compete, compete, Go get a new console. The Nintendo Switch has always been meant for this portable gaming. And, you know, first party first party games are still run really well on the Nintendo. And they still look really good as well. But either way, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the content. Enjoyed the news on the brand new Nintendo Switch. I'll be doing a review on this for sure come October 8th. So I'll be looking... Yeah, October 8th. I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, but once again, I hope you guys go on to enjoy the rest of your day.